All right, so today is a big day. The day has finally come. I'm gonna crank 50 miles out of my legs. I'm running through the Everglades in Florida and it should be a good time. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. I'm gonna try to check in every four or five miles or so and let you know how I'm doing, let you know how things are going. So check it out. Everywhere I look, I just see you on your own. All that it took was one gone from his head. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but you look shit all alone. To give me a shot, cause I could be the dog to your bone or something. All right, just uh, just got about a little over five miles in. Feeling good, still, still feeling fresh. It's gonna be a long day though, so just trying to be smart and just pace myself as best as I can. It's a little bit muddy out here on the trails, but nothing too serious. I'm uh, got a little company right now, just running along with Martin right now, so everything's all good i'll check back in in another five or so So I just clicked over 10 miles still feeling good but it's soupy and muddy like big time more than I expected so and the mud has really slowed me down my pace isn't where I wanted it to be I was aiming for 10 minute miles but right now I'm at 11 minute miles but that could be a good thing i don't know my feet are pretty pretty much soaked and they're pretty muddy i'm doing my best to avoid all the mud puddles as best i can but there's some there's just no getting around it so just going to keep humming along and keep a good positive attitude and just be thankful i have two legs to get me through this doing something cool like this so i'm just kind of taking it all in check back in later All right, so just clicked over 15 miles. Still feeling pretty fresh, feeling good. The legs feel good, they feel strong. The mud's not quite so bad 
in this section I'm in right now, which is a good thing. Feeling good. To tell you the truth, I kind of feel like Rambo or something out in the wild, out in the jungle. It's kind of a cool feeling. Oh yeah, check back in soon. Later. plank Julia cruising. Martin hey, yeah, man. what's up Not much, how are you feeling I'm feeling okay how about you I'm feeling good nice Not and wrong. steady Go get them. so I just passed a lady that just had an encounter with a panther, a Florida panther. It was like right back there about a minute ago. She was pretty excited about it. That's pretty cool. It'd also be cool if he uh, stayed away from me. <laughs> All right, so 20 miles in, feeling it a little bit more now starting to slow down I'm just trying to be smart and pace myself I don't want to overdo it this is my first 50 miler so I'm just being smart about it playing it safe hello good job I've read I've read a lot about ultra marathons and studied it a lot and they always say don't necessarily worry about your pace or your finish time for your first one just uh, focus on getting it done and completing it so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just focusing on just keep moving forward keep a positive attitude and just keep moving see you later All right, so just clicked over 25 miles. Feeling pretty good. There for a while, around mile 23, I was in a low spot. I was going through a valley. From the little experience I have with running far, I've learned that you'll go through a lot of peaks and valleys throughout your journey it's kind of a lot like life it can teach you a lot actually but I'm feeling pretty good just gonna keep on trucking along one foot in front of another it's getting pretty windy out so that should make it interesting all right over and out so I'm keeping in contact with my mom and dad where I have service, just texting them, giving them some updates, letting them know how I'm feeling. And my mom just informed me that I'm the only male in the 18 to 25 age group. So uh, I guess I'm gonna get first in my age group. So that's pretty cool. I'm not complaining about that. All right. Check it out, I'm 27 and a half miles in. Can you see that alligator down there? Yeah, he's watching me. Oh boy. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah. 
30 miles in feeling pretty good about a mile and a half back I was chugging along kind of in my own little zone and I looked up and I was with I was within 10 feet of I'd say a 10 foot gator and we saw each other at the same time and it scared the you know what right out of me I jumped like an eight-year-old girl but so did he I think I scared him just as much as he scared me time to keep moving along all right so I just passed another runner and he said about three quarters of a mile up ahead he heard a panther growling so he told me to get my whistle ready so it's ready I'll probably get eight he scared me he moved you freak! Oh, I see the back of him. Yeah. You freak me out. <laughs> Good job. Keep it up. All righty. Just turned over 35 miles. I'm definitely what you would call in the pain cave right now. Oh boy. I've definitely got some uh, serious blister action going on. My feet have been sopping wet and pretty muddy for most of the run today, but I'm 35 miles in. It's never good when your feet look like that. They're soaked. But that's all right. I'm just keeping a positive attitude 15 more miles to go just gonna push through it <sighs> probably be, pro I'm losing it probably at f mile 40 I'll, I haven't listened to any music yet so far so probably at mile 40 for those last 10 miles hopefully I'll get some good jams going and just push on through so I'm 40 miles in definitely feeling it now and from I think mile 38 to mile 45 they are 46 actually they looped us through the muddiest part of the trail again so that's fun but just gonna keep moving right along, get this thing finished. Forty miles in still. I did make some friends though. That's Frank and that's George. I take that back. That's itchy and that's scratchy. Come on guys, out of the way. Come on. All 
All right, so I've been out here for eight hours and 20 minutes running. So eight hours and 20 minutes, that's what I was hoping to finish in, finish the 50 miles in. That's a 10 minute pace, but I'm like 41 and a half miles in right now. I think I could have came close if it wasn't for these soupy muddy trails but oh well hello keep it up i think the hardest part about this race is it's so hard to get in a rhythm you can't get in a groove you get going for a while and you feel good and then you come up on something like this and it becomes a chess game to figure out what's the best line to take to get through this thing but hey, I'm not complaining. All right, 45 miles in. Woohoo! I'm so pumped to finish this bad boy. But before I do, I just want to give a shout out to my mom and dad for going out of their way to make this thing happen for me. It's really awesome. I'm pretty lucky and pretty blessed to have two really good parents, so thank you. So my GPS watch says I only have five miles to go, but at the aid station I was just at, they told me I have about seven miles to go, so man, that plays head games with you. Oh. So my GPS watch says I'm at 46.7 miles and the park ranger back there just told me I'm five miles from the finish. So, hey, what's five miles? At this point, that's just a hop, skip, and a jump, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, I can see the finish line. Oh, I turned the music on the last two miles. I think it saved me. Let's finish this mother. This part of plane without no destination. Take your time, you're gonna need some patience, girl. Waiting very patiently for his award. In a time of 10:38:10, Ross Setlitz runs the straight jacket. Congratulations! All right, so it's the morning after the 50-mile run, and my legs feel like they definitely did something yesterday, but. Really, they're not all that bad. The thing that hurts the worst is the blisters on my toes. It's hard to go 50 miles with soaking wet feet and soaking wet shoes, so that's what hurts the worst. But I just wanna talk about a few things and address a few topics. The first being, was I happy with my result? And originally, I was hoping to finish in like eight hours and 20 minutes and I ended up finishing in 10 hours and 38 minutes. And I think if the trails that I was running on were completely bone dry, I think I could have come real close to, to achieving that goal. But with the trails being just covered in mud and just a muddy, messy, mucky situation, it slowed everyone down so much, so there's no getting around that. When I was training for the 50 miles, I actually did a 42 mile treadmill run, and I ran it at a 10 minute pace, and I felt good the whole time, so I was 
pretty confident I would come real close to running the time I was hoping for. And I did end up placing like 11th out of like 75 runners. So I guess that's not all that bad. So overall, I guess I'm happy and it was my first 50 milers. So the other thing I wanna talk about real quick is why I'm even drawn to running that far in the first place. And I think the first reason is, is I'm just fascinated by the concept of people being able to go that far and push themselves that far. It just, I'm just drawn to that. And the second reason I'm drawn to running that far is to just simply find out what I'm made of. Running that far was just as much of a mental challenge as it was a physical challenge. And the third reason I'm drawn to running that far is to just simply kind of celebrate my lifestyle change that I've made over the past three years. I was headed in a direction that probably wasn't the best direction for me personally. And I just totally changed my life around and went on a whole different journey. So running, running that far is just a way that I've found to just celebrate that. And so with all that being said, I just want to leave you guys with one thing and that's you're better than you think you are and you can do more than you think you can. Thanks for watching.